Welcome to another episode of RC Mail Time. I will be going through some of the parts that arrived with the Mias STX-10 II Capra chassis. So Mias have just released uh, a new chassis with a fantastic looking counter rotating gearbox. Um, we will be doing a build on that. So um, part of that uh, was sent out to me uh, by Mias. These are the revised hexes. As you know, Spidey is running a set of Mias portals, and we have had some fitment issues with the hexes. They were uh, they were measured and anodized after the fact, so they ended up being a bit tight and bindy. This fixes that issue, and I also had some issues with the uh, the pins coming out of the brass ball. So, yeah, that that was a bit of an issue too. So, uh, these items were sent out for that, but one of the um, I have to say, well, I know I don't have to say. I'm telling you honestly, guys. Uh, you know, sincerely, Mias's um, customer services uh, have been really good. And um, at the initial start of the uh, the interaction with Mias, they wasn't aware that I had a YouTube channel. I believe that they. Um, they actually were just treating me as if I was, a, you know, a regular customer. Not that this is a big YouTube channel. I do like the mere stickers. They look really good. I tend to use these down at the bottom of the wheel arch on that panel, on the quarter panel by the front door. I think they look really nice. Um, um, so I, I've been running a set of sort of generic stainless steel drive shafts, prop shafts, and I've not had the greatest of success with it, actually. Let's get that in a bit of shade there. It's got the, the Mias logo, logo uh, etched into it. They, they feel pretty good. There's a little bit of staginess to them, but I'm sure once they've been been used a little bit they're going to be nice everything feels how it should do with a prop there's a little bit of play in that pin there but i would imagine this part of the pin being ever so slightly loose stops it from pulling on the bit that goes into the brass there um these are going to be going I've got two, as you can see, I've got two longish ones and I've got two short ones. So I've, I've got uh, one for Spidey's build or one set for Spidey's build, should I say, and I've also got a spare, um, which is really, really handy. I'm going to pop the prices up on the screen um, for everything now. Um, just so you guys can have a look at that. Um, what else has been going on while I've got you guys? I'm just going to flip um, the CR18 P Pro Evo Brushless Edition upside down. And uh, this is the back. Um, we have installed the counter rotating uh, diff and we've moved the, uh, the prop shaft over onto the counter rotating drive. So now when the motor spins, the props go in different directions. One of the main problems with the standard truck is the, uh, the torque twist is just absolutely awful. And um, it kind of spoiled the truck for me until this was done. Um, I feared that there would only be um, you know, the, the expensive brass and aluminium of, uh, options for this. Um, but I did manage to find this one, thanks to one of the Facebook groups, on uh, Asia Tees, and this unit sent out, delivered is about £7, UK pounds, so about $10, something like that. Uh, one thing worth mentioning, 
Um, there are little nubs um, that would have been for one of the other designs, um, which the CR18 Pro Evo doesn't use. So you just need to snip those off uh, with a pair of side cutters or, you know, dremel it off or whatever. Um, as you can see, I haven't bothered to tidy it up, but these axles are going to get a beat in anyway. Um, so I don't see that being a big issue. Something else just occurred to me, guys, and uh, that I didn't do in the video is I checked phase in. These uh, prop shafts do correctly phase as well, absolutely spot on. And this is a simple thing that a lot of manufacturers don't get right. So that's good to know. A little idea just occurred to me, guys. Um, they've They've etched the Mias branding. I, just something about the Me Us branding that I really like. Um, but that's not the point. Um, in something, this is something that Endura do on their links. They actually etch on the side of the item uh, the, the link distance. So for like a 313 link set, it will say 313 millimeters. Um, I wonder, Mias, would it be possible for you to etch? The, the the collapsed length and the fully extended, so I'd say fully extended is probably like there. Would it be possible to to put like, I don't know, 65 to 95 or something or whatever it is for this particular one um, on all of these in your etching process? Just an idea there for the new thing. That would make our lives easier. And um, I think it would add value to your product. One final thing, I'll try to do my best to get as much of it in a shot. This is the Revolt LCG chassis from Revolt RC. Um, I had a little bit of time. I just wanted to do a mock-up of all the parts. And uh, my brain's working today, so I can remember that this is called a bearing carrier. Um, this is a link carrier, um, so a link mounting point for the back of the truck. And there's a little look at the skid. We've got 10.5 degrees of angled skid on this bad boy. Let's try to get it so the camera can see it. So, yeah, we've got a really nice bit of angling. Um, it's not super skid forward, but it is a skid forward design. I'm really looking forward to building on this, but this one's going to be a while, guys, um, because I do have to save up and order some parts. Um, uh, if you use the links in the description below of any of the videos, that helps to put money in my affiliate account on AliExpress, which helps me to fund these projects. So if you have what used one of my links down below, please just allow me to say thank you. I appreciate you. And that leaves me nothing left to do but to say goodbye for now. And remember, guys, no matter the question, love is always the answer. <laughs>